Anthony Fasano from the Engineering Management Institute, and I'm here with Matt Zaga from RTM Associates. I'm here at their offices in Chicago. And Matt, you've been an engineer now for 12 years. You've got a leadership role here in the firm. When you look back on your career in terms of your progression, what is one thing that jumps out at you that has really helped you to progress? I think it's the development of some of the soft skills. I think, you know, consistently reading uh, books on uh, whether it be leadership and communication, uh, things of that nature, you know, developing to-do lists, things to help me stay organized okay. in my job as an engineer, I think has uh, really taken me to the next level um, beyond just being a really good engineer. It's the combination of kind of making it a full package, so to speak. Right, and so what you're saying, Matt, is the soft skills helped you, but to get those and to acquire those soft skills, which are hard for engineers sometimes to work on and acquire, you took it upon yourself to read books. I did, yeah. I think you know, developing you know, consistent uh, reading habits where you're um, reading. And then one of the biggest things is you know, not only reading a book, but you know, making sure that you actually implement those strategies that you're reading about is the most critical thing because certainly you know reading a book and getting good ideas is one thing right. but taking it to the next level and actually implementing those things is is huge so one more question on that point do you have any tips or strategies or how do you implement them do you make lists do you work on them what do you do i'm, I'm really big with making lists and uh Routine and habit is key. Right. Um, yeah, that's so sure. if, if if you can get in the habit of uh, you know reading on a consistent basis and then putting things and building them into your list and maybe even journaling on a on a daily basis, uh, I think that can be a huge help. That's great. And one last question, Matt. When in terms of the books you read, is it kind of like what you feel your needs are at that time? Like I need to get better at networking, so I'm going to read a networking book. Is that how you choose? Absolutely. I think it's easiest to read books that you feel that you can directly apply. So whether you're looking to take the next step into business development, you know, reading a book that's applicable to that role and reading a book on business development could be huge during that time. And then once you feel that you've harnessed those skills, you might start realizing that adding one other component or one other skill sure. to your tool belt could take you to the next level. Sure, that's great. And that's a great point. I wanted to bring that up because I just started doing that myself is before I start reading a book, I want to look at my goals and say, you know, is this going to help me achieve my goals? Because, you know, in the age of the internet, you get all these pop-ups, this book is great, this book looks good, and you start reading it, but it's not necessarily helping your cause. So once again, Matt Zager from RTM Associates. Matt, thanks for joining hey, us. Thanks, Anthony. This. Appreciate it.